What is up YouTube, Jews Jungle here today. Uh, today I'm going to be covering the top 10 worst Sonic the Hedgehog games of all time. Once again, uh, just like the worst Mario games list, this list is based on my opinion and my opinion alone. And I'm also leaving out uh, games that people consider bad like Black Knight, Shadow of the Hedgehog, and Sonic Shuffle. I'm leaving those games out because, in my opinion, I actually enjoy those games and have no problem with them. But I've scoped down what I think are the worst Sonic games of all time. So you know what? Let's go. Top 10 Worst Sonic the Hedgehog Games At number 10, we have Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Uh, back in 2010, uh, this game was gonna bring back the classic era of Sonic, you know, the Genesis era. But when this game came out, it was a big disappointment due to a few things. It was just so generic, bland and boring, and just didn't feel right. And everything just looks shiny and plasticky, just doesn't even look good. Like, I get it was trying to uh, bring back the classic era and Genesis era, but it just failed. And I know Mario and Donkey Kong were doing it with new Super Mario Bros. and Donkey Kong Country Returns, but Sonic 4 just sucks. And Episode 2 isn't any better itself too, so yeah, that's why this game sucks. At number 9, we have Sonic Chronicles. This game is very promising because this is Sonic's first RPG adventure. But what really ruins this game is the music, the controls, Yes, the controls. You have to control everything with a Nintendo DS touchscreen, so no buttons required. And the character models don't even look good either. I get it's DS, but Sonic Rush and other Sonic games were able to get, you know, Sonic's character models just perfect. So I don't know why this game just kind of looks ugly. I don't know why. It just, it, it's such a promising Sonic game, and I used to enjoy this game, but as an adult, I really don't like it anymore. And that's what ruins the game for me. Number 8, Sonic Genesis for Game Boy Advance. You'd think a port of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 would be very good, and you would be right. But they just had to ruin it with terrible screen crunch and just, you know, everything. And also the game kind of looks zoomed in, too, which is honestly kind of weird. And just, it just doesn't run very good on Game Boy Advance. Nowadays, you can play Sonic 1 on the go with any device, you know, like DS or mobile phones or Switch. But back in the day, this was your only option to play Sonic 1 on the go. And nobody wanted this. It has terrible screen crunch and everything. And just, honestly, this should have been good. Because Sonic the Hedgehog 1 was a massive success and what brought Sonic to his legacy and what made him popular. Just this game is just terrible. This is a terrible port of Sonic 1. And this is not the only terrible Sonic port, but this is definitely the number one worst Sonic port ever. At number seven, we have Sonic Forces. This game had a lot of potential and was kind of promising, I can't lie, because I remember this game being announced and being hyped up by fans, myself included, due to the fact that it was a mainline Sonic game, they brought back classic Sonic just like Sonic Generations, and you can also make your own avatar. And for classic Sonic, his stages suck, and literally he had no potential with the story at all. He was just there to make cash for Sega. And the game is just really short too, 30 stages, plus a Shadow DLC, and you can beat the game within an hour or two. And just, this game was kind of lazy. It just ruined a lot of characters' personality for me, in my opinion. It just ruined a few things for me for this game, which is honestly why I struggled to like this game. Number six, Sonic Labyrinth. This game is quite the opposite of what a Sonic game is. For example, Sonic is very slow in this game due to the fact that Eggman switched out his shoes to slow shoes, which by the way sucks. And you can also beat the game in like 40 minutes if you know what you're doing. All you have to do is just grab three keys and then get the hell out of the room. And 
and this game just is not really good this game will honestly board you in less than like five to ten minutes and just sonic is very slow this this is not a very enjoyable game number five sonic and the secret rings i swear this game has such a great and beautiful uh, game style and everything just this game looks so beautiful but the gameplay can't be said the same thing though uh one thing that really holds this game back in general are the strict motion controls you have to use motion controls literally for everything and this is an auto runner too so you have no free control whatsoever and and i want to love this game if it didn't have these clunky uncontrollable and unresponsive motion controls which is honestly why i struggle to like sonic and the secret rings this game would have been one of the best sonic games if it controlled well which honestly sucks number four sonic r i was able to play this game through sonic gems collection on nintendo gamecube and honestly through that port this isn't a good uh, game at all it, it controls bad and just you know getting all the chaos emeralds and unlocking all the characters is just such a chore which makes you not want to do it and to unlock the characters and get all the chaos emeralds you have to be first place at it which is already hard enough because this game controls like absolute garbage which is frustrating and annoying and just it's just not really fun, not really worth anyone's time, and you'll instantly get bored within like 5 minutes. Number 3, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. This is a game that's based on the Sonic Boom TV show from 2014, and this also came out the same year too, because Sega really wanted Sonic Boom to be a big thing. But the game is glitchy and has very wonky physics and just didn't really work out. And they tried patching up the game for the Wii U, but the damage was already done. So, yeah. So that's this is why it's a bad Sonic game. And just, yeah, it killed Sonic the second time. By second time, you'll know why. what I mean. Number two, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. This game was so promising and had so much potential. But what ruined this game was bugs, glitches, and physics which really sucked because this game looked awesome and had a, had a good story too. It was a bit confusing and had a few issues with it, like Sonic literally kissing a human princess, and which really sucked. And, and just like, you'll easily get lost in the story too. And the stages are frustrating as well, but hey, this game had a lot of potential and stuff, but it was ruined by rush marketing, glitches, bugs, and physics, and what I really like about this game is it introduced silver, the concept art, and the music, but that's all, that's all I can say good about this game. Other than that, this game really sucked, had a lot of potential, but failed to be the next good Sonic game, which really sucked, and it is now one of the worst Sonic games of all time, and it will live on as one of the worst Sonic games ever. But now, what can top this game? Think about it, what can top Sonic 06 now? Well, I'll show you for our number one pick. Yes, for our number one pick, we have Sonic Free Riders. This game controls so bad, so bad that it'll make you wanna play Secret Rings instead. And I'm not joking. Because this game is an Xbox 360 Kinect game, and it forces you to get up from your couch and literally use your whole body to control the whole game. And while you're at it, your uh, motions with your body won't even respond to the Kinect as well, meaning that you'll be messing up a lot, and I mean a lot, which makes it frustrating too. And doing tricks and everything is just frustrating too. This game is better off with a controller if it if it's playable which is not so if you want to play sonic riders go play the first two games because this is the number one worst so that is my top 10 worst sonic games list once again this list is based on my opinion and my opinion alone so yeah 
But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. I'm Juju's Jungle, and I'll see you guys next time.